Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare, uh, because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 60. Today we'll discuss how to convert fractions into decimals into percentages. Let's see what we have. The very first problem we have here is asking us to convert is asking us to convert 0 0.037 into percent. 0 0.037 into percent. For example, for example, if they ask us to compare convert 0 0.5 into percent, how do we convert 0 0.5 into percent? 0 0.5, of course, we know is half. 0 0.5, everybody knows, is half, and half we know is 50 percent. What do we do? What we do is we take our decimal and move it two spots, one and two. In other words, in other words, if we want to convert decimal into percentage, we need to multiply that by 100. So it is equal to 0.5 times 100 or 50 percent. 0.5 times 100 percent, I should say. 0.5 times 100 percent or 50 percent. Let's do one more. How about 0 0.25? 0 0.25, if you want to convert this into percentage, you multiply it by 100, and 0.25 times 100, of course, is going to be 25%. I shouldn't write it like this, because 0.25 times 100 is not 25%. 0 0.25 is 25%. So 0 0.25 times 100, that's just how many percent it is. 0.25. 0.25 is simply 0.25 times 100 percent, which boils down to 25 percent. We're making too much fuss about it. We just have to move the decimal spots two places. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, we move the decimal two places, one and two, and it becomes 10 percent. Similarly, here we have 0 0.037. 0 0, 3, 7. The decimal is right here. We have to move two spots. 1 and 2. It's going to end up here. It's equal to 3.7%. Point 0, 0.037 into percent is, point is simply 3.7%. It's simply 3.7%. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. The next one is asking us to convert 45% into fraction into fraction as we have talked about it before whenever they ask you to convert any percentage into a fraction the answer choices that are going to be laid out in front of us in a multiple choice exam format that's what that's what that's what we're preparing for whether you're preparing for ACT or SAT or T's or GMAT or GRE these are all multiple choice questions multiple choice exams and the answer choices are going to be presented to you if they're asking us to convert percentage into fractions the answer choices are going to be presented to us in the most simplest most reduced fraction for example 45 percent of course we know we know 45 percent means 45 over 100 but we can't leave it like that because no answer choice is going to match that we have to reduce it we should realize that 45 is a multiple of 5 and 100 is a multiple of 5 so we need to divide top and bottom by 5 45 has 9 5, 9 5 is a 45, and 10 has 2 5s, 10 has 2 5s, and 0 has no 5s. So it boils down to 9 over 20, 9 over 20, which makes perfect sense because 9 over 20, if you want to multiply 5, if you multiply it by top and bottom by 5, 5 and 5, you will end up with 45, 9 times 5 is 45, and 20 times 5 is 100. But anyways, in, more, in its most reduced form, in its most reduced form, 45% into fraction is 9 over 20. The answer is 9 over 20. Let's do the next one, shall we? Let's do the next one. Convert 38, 38% into decimal. Convert 38% into a decimal, which is actually a very silly question. 38% in decimal is just point 
of 38 on the tinctoid. If the ask us to convert into fraction, then that would have been 38 over 100, but no answer choice would be presented to you in this form. You have to reduce top and bottom by 2, because they are both multiple of 2. Let's divide top by 2, let's, div let's divide bottom by 2. How many 2's does 3 have? 3 has only one 2. The remaining one goes and joins the 8, becomes 18. And 18 has 9 2's. 10 has 5 2's and 0 has no 2's. So it ends up as 19 over 50. 38 percent in its most reduced fraction form is equal to 19 over 50 or in decimal is simply 0.38. Let's do the next one, shall we? Let's do the next one. Convert, convert. One hundred and twenty-seven. Convert one hundred and twenty-seven over two fifty into percent and in decimal. Convert one hundred and twenty-seven into percentage and in decimal. Let's see what we can do. Well, we know, we know 25, we know 25 times 4 is 100. We know that if 25 times 4 is 100, then 250 times 4 should be 1,000. In other words, if we were to multiply and divide, multiply, if we were to multiply top and bottom by 4, if we were to multiply top and bottom by 4, we can very easily find ourselves with, we can very easily find ourselves with 1,000 at the bottom which is fine. Our job is to convert the bottom into either a hundred or some multiple of one hundred. Thousand will do not just nicely. Let's find out what 127 times 4 is. 127 times 4. Seven fours are 28. 8 carry 2. 2 fours are 8 plus 2 is 10. 0 carry 1. 4 ones are 4 plus 1 is 5. We end up with 508 over 1000. 508 over 1000, if you want to present it in a decimal form, in the decimal form this is equal to 50.8 percent, and uh, rather in percentage form, in percentage form 508 over 1000 is simply 50.8 percent, in the decimal form it is going to be 0 0.508. 0 0.508. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. The next one you do it yourself. The next one is 237. 237 over 750. You do it yourself. Pause the video, do the problem yourself. Once you have done it, then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds. I'll give you five seconds to pause and unpause the video. All right. Two hundred and thirty-seven <coughs> over seven fifty. Well, we never talked about. Well, I'm not sure if it was in this video or the previous video. Yesterday, we talked about a mood point. What's a mood point? This mood point is something that we learned in our vocabulary lessons long time ago, and I'm going to tell you which day it was. Day number seven. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which of these exams you're preparing for, if you're preparing for the SAT or SAT, whichever it is, if you're, if you're preparing for the SAT, for example, just type in SAT vocabulary words, day seven, or GRE vocabulary words, day seven, and the video will pop right up and you will learn the word mood point. Mood point simply means it's something that you do purely for theoretical purposes. It has no practical implication. The fact that 750 is divisible by 2 here, the fact that 750 is an even number and therefore is divisible by 2 is a mood point because we can clearly see that the top is an odd number. Since top is an odd number, we can't divide the top by 2. So what's the bloody point of looking, telling, talking about, discussing the fact that the bottom is divisible by 2? It's a mood point. We can, we have to move on to three. 
Is the bottom divisible by 3? The answer is yes, because 7 plus 5 is 12, and since the sum of the digit here is 12, the sum of the digits of 750 is 12, and 12 is divisible by 3, 750 can be divided by 3. Let's see if the, let's see if the top is divisible by 3. 2 plus 3 plus 7 also happens to add up to 12, which means top is also divisible by 3. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. Let's do it here, 237, 237, we're going to divide it by 3. How many 3's does 2 have? 2 has no 3, 2 is too puny. 2 is too puny, it has no 3's. Because I recall doing a problem very similar to this one yesterday, but it was actually a slightly different problem. It's not the same problem. I, I, I have no need to freak out, okay? Okay, so 2 has how many 3's? 2 has no 3's. 2 is too puny to have any 3's. That power 2 goes and joins 3. It gains up with 3 and becomes 23. 23 has 7 3's. 7 3's are 21. 7 3's are 21. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 7 and becomes 27. 27 has 9 3's. I could have sworn that we did the exact same thing yesterday. 237 times 50. Oh, never mind. We did this problem yesterday. I'm not going to redo the whole thing. So since I started, I'm going to finish it very quickly. It's the exact same problem. I recognize it. I recognize as I was doing it. Yes, we did something like this yesterday. I don't know how I ended up duplicating the same problem here on, the, on, the two, on, on my notes here for two days. But let's finish it up very quickly. So it's 79. So 2 has no 3's, 2 goes and joins the 3, becomes 23, 23 has 7 3's, the remaining 2 goes and joins the 7, becomes 27, 27 has 9 3's. Let's divide the bottom by 3, because we divided the top by 3, we must divide the bottom by 3. 7 has 2 3's, remaining, remaining, remaining 1 goes and joins the 5, becomes 15, 15 has 5 3's. We end up with 79 over 250, 79 over 250. Now if you want to multiply and divide the top and bottom by 4, at the bottom we'll end up with 1000 because we want to get at the bottom we want 100 or some multiple of 100 1000 will do nicely at the bottom we end up with 1000 and on the top we have 79 79 times 4 we know we know 80 times 4 we know we know 8 fours are 32 we know our table 8 fours are 32 if 8 fours are 32, then 80 fours should be 320. We do not have 80 fours, we have 79 fours. 79 fours should be 4 less than 320, and it's going to be 316. 316. 316 divided by 1000 is the same as 31.6% or 0 0.316. But as I said, this is the exact same problem that we did yesterday. Not the very last problem, but the penultimate problem on yesterday, in yesterday's video, day number 59, the penultimate problem. The penultimate problem yesterday was the exact same problem. What does penultimate mean? Penultimate is just a very fancy way of saying second to the last problem. So on yesterday's video, the same exact problem was not the last problem that we did. Today is going to be our last problem, but yesterday it happened to be second to the last problem. Penultimate is just a very fancy way of saying second to the last. Penultimate, when did we learn it? Day number... Just give me one brief second and I'll find it. For day number 11. Again, if you're interested in learning this word, Along with some other words to expand your vocabulary, just type in SAT vocabulary words day 11 or GRE vocabulary words day 11 or whichever exam you're preparing for, just type that word uh, exam, GMAT vocabulary words day 11 and the video will pop up where we learn the word penultimate. Okay, bye now.